All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha. All right, double honors to the elders and uh, honors to all the brothers uh, out here doing this work in truth and sincerity. We're out here in the San Francisco Bay Area camp. I'm your call. Shalom, Bania. And right now it's Tuesday, uh, I believe it's the 20th, and in a couple of days, the majority of our people, they're going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Now, most most people are familiar with the history of Thanksgiving, uh, but you a lot of a lot of our people, they just say, you know what, this is a time to uh, celebrate, and, and this and that. Yeah, we know about the American Indians, and this and that, but it's the only time we have off, and we don't take it as that. You know, so we're not going to go deep into the history, since even you devils, you know about the history of thanks, Thanksgiving so-called Thanksgiving, which a lot of people saw uh, uh, deem as Thanksgiving, all right, which is pretty much commemorating the uh, the slaughter of the so-called American Indians, which are, which are the tribe of Gad. All right, so I'm just going to hit a, a couple of scriptures on it uh, since it's coming up and pretty much uh, throw condemnation to all you of our people that are going to celebrate this wicked-ass uh, unholy day, unholiday. All right, um, you get Leviticus 22 and 29. Leviticus 22, verse 29. And when ye will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord, offer it at your own will. Right, so thanksgiving is in the scriptures, but it's not, it's not anything uh, related to how uh, these people here in Babylon uh, celebrate it. And it says when you give a thanks at thanksgiving, what does it say? It says, uh, and when ye will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord, offer it at your own will. Right, offer it at your own will. Right, so I mean, it's willful. So all of you people that are, are, are uh, celebrating thanksgiving, you're doing it at your own will. And what are you commemorating? What was the sacrifice? Who did you sacrifice, you know, to give thanks here in America? The American Indians, all right? Because that's who you killed. That's how you establish this land. Is that not what you commemorate? Oh, thank, thank God for uh, uh, thanks, uh, Thanksgiving for uh, uh, having this country, you know, for all the wealth that we've acquired here. All right, and uh, do you look up uh, the word for Thanksgiving? Con. Blue letter? Con. The word for thanksgiving is thawada. Right. Confession, praise, thanksgiving. Give praise to the Most High. Thanksgiving in songs and liturgical worship, hymn of praise. Uh, thank offering, sacrifice of thanksgiving, confession. Right. Now go to Psalms 107 and 22. And then after that, get Zechariah 11 and 4. This is pretty much, these scriptures expose you so-called white people, all right? Uh, Psalms 107 and 22. Psalms 107, verse 22. It says, And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. Right, and so that's what you, you people, you're declaring your works. All right, when you celebrate uh, so-called thanksgiving, because uh, what was the sacrifice again? The so-called American Indians. That's who had to. That's who had to suffer for you devils to uh, obtain this. Uh, obtain the society. And so you're talking about Thanksgiving. You're pretty, you're saying thank the Lord for all of this, right? Zechariah 11 and uh, 4 through 5. Zechariah 11, verses 4. Uh, Thus saith the Lord, My power feed the flock of the slaughter. Right now, who's the flock of the slaughter? Who got slaughtered? The so-called American Indians, as well as you so-called Latinos and uh, so-called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians. You're the flock of the slaughter, or you're the one who's getting butchered here in the streets of America. And again, Gad, Gad is the Gad is the tribe out of the nation of Israel that got that got slaughtered. All right, and now you have this this unholy day called Thanksgiving. Uh, keep going. Whose possessors slay them? And hold themselves not guilty. Right, because then, even though it's, it's widely known, you got you still got some Edomites that are denied. 
Like, nah, but we had a feast. We all came together. It was 90 Indians, 50-something pilgrims. You, you know, we just want to commemorate that. But what happened to all of those so-called Indians that you were cool with? All right, you gave them smallpox blankets. You raped their woman. You sent them to boarding school so they for, would forget their identity. Because their identity is uh, being a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Gad. All right. Okay. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Wait a second. It said, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Thanksgiving. The water the of the Mosai. That's you people right now. This Thursday coming up, man. Because it not, was not Gad sold. Matter of fact, go back, go to, go to that article. Uh, in, uh, the Huffington Post. You just pulled up. Come. On. This is Huffington Post. And the title is, Do American Indians Celebrate Thanksgiving? Uh, I'm going to jump down. It's like a couple paragraphs. It says, Let's begin with Squanto, a.k.a. <coughs> Tisquantum, a, a Patuche, one of more than 50 tribes who formed the Wampanoag. Around 1614, he was perhaps 30. Squanto was kidnapped along with others of his people and taken across the Atlantic Ocean to Malaga, Spain. Right. Now, this is this is before um, the first so-called Thanksgiving uh, feast uh, on the shores of America, which took place in 1621, uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. But, but wait a second. This is this is seven years before. I thought everybody we were we were cool. We were, we were all getting along, holding hands. See, that's why we don't believe a goddamn thing that you devils say, all right? Keep going. Where they were sold into slavery, monks in Spain bought Squanto, shared their faith with them, and made it possible for him to find his way to England in 1615. Right. That's pretty much it. That's, that's the point. All right, now read that part again. Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Yep. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Right, that's an example right there of Gad being sold. And then we just looked up what uh, Thanksgiving means uh, uh, in the in the Hebrew. The water, thanks. Thanks to the Most High. So who's this talking about if it's not talking about the so-called white man? Is he not fulfilling this prophecy? Every year, uh, on the fourth Thursday of the month, which 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 is a national holiday while well, it was instituted in 1941. So this is in this is this is uh embedded in this uh American society. All right, the uh the the blood, sweat, and tears that Gad had to uh go through to establish you funky ass Edomite society. 